increased risk of breast cancer with hormonal contraceptive use. Stay tuned for all the details. Hey guys, Dr. Wes Davis back to talk to you today about some really important medical news. A big study has just been published out of Denmark and published in the New England Journal of Medicine. They followed almost 2 million women in Denmark for almost 11 years and they looked at their risk of breast cancer. Over 11,000 women were diagnosed with breast cancer during this 11 year period. And it turns out that the risk of breast cancer was higher in the group of women who had ever used birth control methods that had any type of hormone. Now in the past, we, we thought that maybe uh, we thought that maybe things that did not contain estrogen might not have the same risk. So progesterone only methods like the Mirena or the Liletta or other progesterone only birth control methods uh, like the Nexplanon. But it turns out that it did not matter what type of hormonal contraceptive was used. The risk was about 20% higher overall in women who used any type of hormonal contraception compared to non-hormonal contraception. The risk varied based on the amount of time that women used the hormonal contraception. So lowest risk with less than one year, that was as low as a 9% additional risk. It was almost a 40% higher chance of breast cancer if women had used some sort of method for up to 10 years. And also it's important to know that the risk didn't go away right away when they stopped using their hormones. It took up to five years for that risk to go back to normal. And again, the risk was, was there regardless of the type of method used. So the NuvaRing, the patch, the pill, uh, any of the hormonal IUDs, it was all about the same. So there really didn't appear to be a whole lot of difference between one type and another. And also the doses of the hormones in say birth control pills varied on different different types of pills, but it, the risk was always about the same. So the absolute risk is the important number to understand because it sounds bad when you say, well, a 20% increased risk of breast cancer, and it's bad. Uh, the absolute risk was about one additional person per 7,700 women per year. So you take 7,700 women, put them on birth control, and one additional person got a breast cancer out of that group. So I hope that puts it in some kind of perspective for you. It's not like saying everybody's gonna get breast cancer who uses this, and it's not even a big number of women who are gonna get breast cancer. Uh, so your individual risk is not that much higher, but when you think about it from the perspective that millions and millions of women use hormonal contraceptive worldwide, then you can see from a public health standpoint, it's something that is a big deal because there will be millions of women who get breast cancer related to hormone use. There's definitely benefits to using hormonal birth control, lighter periods, less painful periods, less problems with ovarian cysts, say with birth control pills. Uh, they're useful for treatment of polycystic ovarian syndrome, and not to mention all the benefits of uh, preventing an unintended pregnancy. There's also evidence that it could reduce the risk of uterine cancer and ovarian cancer and possibly possibly even colorectal cancer. So it's not all bad news, and that's really important to understand. By no means am I saying everybody should go up there and just stop taking their birth control right away because of the breast cancer risk. You have to consider the risks and benefits in each individual person's case. And also probably ought to consider things like family history. When they looked at the risk of breast cancer based on age, it did vary. So younger women were at lower risk and older women were at higher risk. It's definitely gonna change how I talk to women about this going forward. If you've already been on birth control pills for 10 years or something like that. You're getting up into your 40s. You're done having kids. You know, in the past, a lot of those people would uh, maybe consider continuing their birth control pill, it's worked fine, uh, or maybe getting an IUD. But it might be smart to think about going to some sort of non-hormonal method like a copper IUD or sterilization, and that would reduce their risk going forward. Because when you get into your 40s, the risk is going up for breast cancer. This really is the biggest study to date that looks at the risk of breast cancer in current users of hormonal birth control. So that's a big thing. It's a lot of women, almost 2 million women followed for a long time, almost 11 years. This study is probably generalizable to a lot of people. I think each person should just consider the risks and benefits themselves. Don't panic. It's definitely not a situation where everyone needs to stop using their birth control. You know, thinking about the long-term risks, maybe you try to minimize the number of years that you're on hormonal birth control and also consider getting off of it as you get, say, into your 30s or your 40s where the risk is starting to go up anyway. So I hope that information is helpful to you guys. If you have questions, please put them in the comments. And please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching and have a great day.